Okay, we're still talking about selections, and this is kind of where the rubber meets the road. Um, we have uh, uh, two images that I pulled up. I have um, the state vehicle, and I have the uh, Jeep that you've seen both these images on the other, other videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make selections and put them onto a composition um, and uh, start actually removing part of the pictures so we can kind of create a, a montage um, like the homework requirement is. Um, so let's start with what I what I like doing is actually copying the whole picture over and working with it on the composition just so I can get the sizing right before I make my selections. So I'm going to do that just like we've done in the past by doing select all, doing edit, copy, move to my, tramp, uh, my composition, do edit, paste, and I'll get a new layer with that image on it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the Ranger vehicle. So I'm going to do select the all, edit, copy, Okay, so we have an empty layer. What that dialog box says is you have an empty layer. So remember in Photoshop, based on what you're selected on is actually what you're copying. So layer one has nothing on it. Um, and as you can tell, I still make the, the mistake. Um, you just have to read the dialog box and, and try and figure out what Photoshop's telling you. So I actually need to be on this layer to actually edit and copy it. So I'm going to copy and then paste it. Okay. So now I have a composition with um, two images. You can see my layers panel, I have two images. Um, and now what I want to do is kind of, I'm going to transform them to kind of get them in the general area that I want. And then I'm going to uh, make a selection and we're going to start cutting out parts. So let's see here, let's do, um, let's transform this guy. So let's go to edit, transform, scale. And I get my controls and I'm going to hold shift because anytime uh, I'm dealing with an image I don't want to distort it so I want to make sure it's, it keeps the same proportion so I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna get it kind of right there looks good hit enter to accept it and then I'm gonna move to my G player do edit transform and do scale hold the shift key down and move that up right about hit enter and um, accept that and now I'm gonna zoom in on a ranger and let's actually just cut out his car so I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on the ranger which is layer 2 I'm gonna use my um, quick select tool and I'm gonna actually just try and click and highlight just the um, the Land Rover. So I'm going to click and start dragging on the Land Rover and when I start to get spill off into the dirt I'm going to stop and then um, remove that. So you'll see as I go here it'll do a pretty good job of getting, you can see how now it's gotten the dirt. So I'm, now I've let go of my mouse button and I'm going to do hold down the Alt key and click in the dirt and just drag a little bit so that it removes that section. Um, remove that a little bit and you can see it does a pretty good job. So now I want to add to this selection. So I need to hit the shift key, hold the shift key down, and continue selecting like the tires and the bottom of the door. Okay, and I think we have most of it pretty good. And now when I start making these selections, I actually really zoom in and I usually um, go around the whole car. You can see we missed a little section here. So I would either use my lasso tool or use my um, um, quick selection tool and come back in here and just select that. See the quick selection tool, uh, when I select that, it selects all this dirt. So I'm going to hit control zero or control Z and undo that. Um, and you know this is just such a little thing that I'm actually going to come in here with uh, my lasso tool and hold the shift key down and click, drag, and make a little loop, and then it highlights that other section. So I'm, I'm refining that the, um, with my quick select tool. Photoshop can't make that distinction, but I can um, 
so with the other tool I can actually make that selection a little better. You can see the same thing here, so I'm going to drag and now I've made that selection a little bit better here on the tail light a little bit too. Um, and I would go all the way around the all the way around the car to make sure that it's um, that it's perfect because you you'll really be able to tell when you cut this out if you've made a good selection or not because you'll either see the background like a halo of the background or you can see the cars cut off. So um, I'm gonna say that's good for now for our demonstration and. Um, we're now going to cut this out. So we're going to um, put this on a new layer. And I, I like doing this because it's non-destructive, and if you ever need to come back to this layer, you can. So now with this selected, I'm going to go up to Layer. I'm going to go to um, New Layer via Copy. So just like we did before when we went to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, so we're going to do that with whatever we selected, doing new layer, layer via copy. So when I click that, it doesn't look like anything happened. But what actually happened is it gave us a new layer with just the Jeep on it, or just land ro the Land ro Rover on it. And so now we have a full image of the uh, image, and then we also have a full image of just the Jeep. So if you ever wanted to go back to it, you could go back and and fill in the Jeep. So now we have the, the, the car on its own layer and we can move it around and, and do whatever we want with it. Um, in the next video we're going to talk about actually um, using masks, making a selection and using masks and combining these two things together.